What's going on guys? Welcome back to Josh Doyle Invest. I uh, have another episode here for you today. And this one is gonna be a little bit different than what I usually do. This one is gonna be on mindset, uh, how to have a successful mindset or what a successful mindset looks like and how it can benefit you. Um, so the reason why the, the topic of this video popped up today is because every morning or every day I try to make some time for myself where I can read a book. Um, uh, doesn't have to be, you know, like a long book session, but I just try to sit down and read at least a couple pages. Sometimes I really get into it and read a chapter or two. Um, the one I'm reading right now is called Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill, The Secrets to Freedom and Success. Highly recommend it, guys. This book is like ridiculously good. I'm honestly only 45 pages in and I can tell that this book will be life changing. What I've realized the most recently that has had the biggest impact on my life, the number one thing, guys, and so what it is, is adversity, okay, problems, challenges in life, pain, sacrifice, all these things are things that when you tell the average person, they kind of, they shell up, right? They're like a turtle. They, they put their head in their shell, blanket over their head. They avoid these things like the plague, okay? Now, what I learned is that you need to start, instead of running away from these things, you need to start running towards these things, okay? The most successful people that I've seen in life have failed the most, and they've gone through the most amount of adversity, they've gone through the most amount of just trouble and failures repeatedly over and over and over again until they've reached success. And guys, the reason why they've reached success is because they've gone through so many trials and tribulations. They've gone through the shit and they've learned from their mistakes and through their experiences. And so if you cannot if you don't, if you're not strong enough to go through adversity, then you will not be rewarded with the success that comes on the other side. And so one thing, you know, that you have to realize is that like, think about your bodies, guys, your, your body, when you're growing, it, it experiences pain, right? It's called growing pain. And so that, that right there in nature should show you that you cannot go through life and grow without experiencing some sort of discomfort and some sort of pain. And so if, if I can show you that example at such a small level, how do you think that that translates into every other aspect of your life, right? If you can, if you can just realize that that's how things are supposed to be and that, and that we should be then looking at uh, pain and looking at challenges and, as growth, then we can start running a then we can stop running away from those things and start running towards them. And so now the way I look at adversity is adversity to me is like a gift. I now, when something bad happens to me or a challenge or a problem happens to me, yes, okay, the first thing that might pop into my mind, which I'm always working on changing and trying to rewire my brain, the first thing that happens is like, oh, it's a setback or, you know, this is a problem and like, oh no, like this is bad, right? But I very quickly have trained myself to then switch my mindset to thinking, okay, this is a good thing. This adversity is actually happening for me instead of to me, right? Life never happens to us, guys. We need to lose that victim mindset and switch it to a winner's mindset to, to this adversity is now happening for me. And what can I make happen out of this adversity? What good is going to come out of this bad thing happening to me, right? So let me give you an example, okay? I could have a contractor that I hire to work at one of my properties that rips me off. They don't do the quality of work that I wanted them to. They didn't complete the job and they scam me the rest of the money, the deposit, say that I gave them, okay? I'm out $5,000. Most people would look at this as a major setback. They would say, why did this happen to me? I should have seen better. Why did I allow this person to do this to me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? The way, and, and that might be the first thoughts that pop into my mind because that's how I was wired and that's, you know, how we were kind of brought up to look at these things. But then, like I said, very quickly, guys, I will look at this and be grateful 
for what happened to me. I'll be grateful that the contractor scammed me, right? Because then I start looking for the positives and I try to see how can this negative event be switched into helping me. So I would then say, this contractor taught me a lot about themselves. I won't use them again in the future. This contractor ta taught me that maybe I should be asking different questions prior to ha uh, hiring this contractor. Or, or maybe that, that lesson is what then taught me how to progress and level up on the next time, right? So you always need to look at things differently, guys. You need to not be so afraid of adversity and challenges and start really going towards adversity and challenges. Um, I hope you guys got something out of that today, my little rants. If you guys like this style of video, please destroy that like button as my friend Mark Loeffler likes to say now and smash that subscribe button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm guys to get me out there, show this video to more, more people. I really do think that this message is important. It's had a seriously positive impact on my life and I would like to do the same to other people. Um, you know, I never really had access to anybody telling me these things as I'm growing up and I've had to get it through books and podcasts. And just now as I'm starting to make friends with, you know, smarter, more intelligent people, more successful people that have these types of mindsets. So get yourself around, you know, people like that guys, um, question everything question the mindset that you have, start reading books. Like I said, let me know what you think of this style video of me just talking to you and just, you know, relaying my thoughts to you as I kind of have them. I'll continue to do them if you guys like this uh, kind of stuff. And once again, thank you so much for watching guys until next time. Take care.